Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again, time to rank up some champions. And this video has been a while in the making. All right, I've got four champions. Three of them I took up over three different level ups. And this last one was, I think, broken up over another couple of level ups. Uh, but more on that in, in a moment. But let's get started. All right. So the first rank up is going to be Masakri. And I say his name that way is because his name is not Massacre. Massacre is spelled with two S's. His name is spelled with one S. And he is the Hispanic Diablo. So his name is Hispanic. So Masakri or Masakri or, you know, however, whatever accent, but it's not Massacre. Okay. Uh, now, the reason that I took him up, I recently got him and I took him up like the next level up after I got him. And you know, that's been a little bit now. And I took him up because he's actually pretty good. And for lanes that require you to put debuffs or incinerate or anything like that, he is crazy good. Now, I remember when he first entered the contest, you had to hit into their block in order to ignite that bat. And that was something that was very difficult because the AI would suddenly just not block. And you sitting here trying your best. And then the... um. Uh, the charges would fall off by the time, and it was just so difficult. So they reworked him. And now it is very easy to ignite your bat. You can hit into the block, but you also can just hit them. And the charges don't fall off that quickly. So I, if the fight lasts any length of time, I've not had a problem igniting the bat. And when you ignite that bat and they're not incinerate immune, he lights them up for real. Okay, so great uh, option for a lot of those uh, incinerate. What is it? Uh, pleasure to burn, I think, or something like that, uh, where you only do damage if they are incinerated and stuff like that. Great option for that. And the only time I take up a champion to rank three is when I see a need, uh, you know, I see a use for them and they're going to, you know, be not annoying in arena. And even though the fights are kind of short in the arena, it's still a pretty quick fight with him. So he doesn't slow me down. All right. So that's the first uh, rank up. The next rank up. Cassie Lang. Now, I saw some wonderful gameplay with Cassie Lang. Some guys were just crazy with her. And I remember the first time I tried what they did, I got riggedy riggedy wrecked because I didn't realize that the um, heavy, you can't hold it indefinitely. Uh, it runs out, so you got to be careful. So I was holding it, and the AI was being passive. And it waited, and I popped up, and I went, whoa, I didn't let it go, and he was already on me. Bop, 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 and that was that. So, got to learn how to play her, but she is really good. And I have played her mainly in arena, but I like her. She's pretty cool, okay? I need to learn her a little bit better. Because I cannot play her the way I have seen her played. Yet. Alright, so that's why I decided to take up Miss Cassie Lang. Alright, the next one is Joe Fixit. Now, if you watched my, um, my last 7-star opening, I made a reference to having ranked up Joe Fixit already. That's what I was talking about. I had ranked him up 
Um, I think it was like last level up or something like that. And he's good. And I saw his potential. And I even decided to go ahead and awaken him. Uh, I have, you know, so many uh, generic awakening gems. So um, I decided to awaken him just because. And I'm like, let me take him up to, uh, you know, rank three. Now, I didn't know that he was available as a seven star. Or I forgot that he was available as a seven star because I'm sure I knew it at one time. Uh, so when I pulled him, I'm like, whoa, OK, glad I didn't take my Joe Fixit to rank four. Uh, but he's actually really good. And I watched uh, another YouTuber named uh, Metal Sonic Dude. MSD. And of course, MSD got skills for days, but he used Joe Fixit and he was making Joe Fixit look good. Now, I've seen other people play Joe Fixit, so I know Joe Fixit is good. Um, but he's actually really good. Uh, so I might play him a little bit more uh, than I have been. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so. Those are the champions that I took up to rank three. Now, this next champion, what happened? What happened was, on one level up, I took this champion to rank three. And then I realized that I could take him to rank four as well. Because of a lot of the uh, Legends Celebration Crystals, the, the resources I got from there. And I could buy a bunch of other stuff from uh, the Glory Store, the Battleground Store, and all of that. So I had enough to take a champion to rank four even after... I took my first champion to rank two as a seven star. And if you didn't watch that video, go check it out. But without further ado, we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Ant-Man future. I wanted this guy for a while. And you know that I just took him up or, or grinded for him in the arena when he came around to the basic. And he is a pain on defense quite often, okay? And uh, even though we got an answer for him and everything, he could still be annoying. And he's also good on offense. I need to learn to play him a little bit more, but woo, the things I've seen about him, I have liked. And he's fairly friendly with the recoil masteries, you know? So... Definitely, definitely like this guy. And uh, I'll play around with him a little bit uh, more. All right. So a quick story at the end about Walmart. And I actually came out ahead on this one. So we ordered. Um, my mom uh, can't really see. So she has me uh, do some ordering for Walmart for a delivery. She made her order last week, Wednesday, and it was to be delivered on Thursday. It never showed up. They said it was delayed and it would be delivered Friday. Friday comes. It's not showing up. My mom's getting nervous. She's calling them up. They're telling her, yes, yes, it's still um, scheduled to, to come. It's still going to be on its way. Never shows up. Now she's looking at the weekend without the food that she needed, right? Um, so I we you know I called and I was not happy, let them know. Um, but I wasn't angry with the lady who you know answered because it wasn't her fault. She's you know customer service. So she said she was gonna file a complaint against that location because this was ridiculous because she couldn't even contact them to get the delivery even after they promised. So um, what she found out was that no delivery driver was ever assigned to it. So they were lying to my mom. Fortunately, 
my um, uh, one of our renters has a car and he was able to uh, take us to the Walmart right here. We got, you know, just a few things uh, to hold us over uh, the weekend. And that was that. Right. So that was good. And it's this location. It's one particular location. So I'm like, I'm not going to that location anymore. So uh, my mom had me order some things for her on, um, I think it was a Sunday. And I ordered stuff for myself as well this morning. Now, I accidentally left it to that location. Now, remember, last time it was delayed, right? And I was like, okay, um, I'm going to give them a chance because I couldn't cancel it or anything. It was too late. I said, I'm going to give them a chance. So I gave them a chance and I looked and I saw it was delayed. I immediately requested a cancellation and they said, okay, we are going to see if we could cancel it because they didn't guarantee you could cancel it because if they've already been preparing it and, and it's already, you know, almost ready, you can't cancel it. And they asked me why I cancel it. And I told them, don't ask me if you don't want to know. So I told them the situation. I was like, you know, I don't trust that location. I'm going to order from a different location. Okay. And so they canceled the order and they said, don't worry, you won't be um, charged for any of this. And they gave me a refund. So I placed another order for later on today. Well, my sister got back from Dragon Con and the food came at the same time. And I'm like, wait, what? The food was not supposed to come for my order until like three and four, which would be after my live stream. But this came much earlier. Come to find out, even though they canceled it, they still delivered what they had already prepared, apparently, for that order. They still delivered it. So I basically got about, I don't know, $30, $40 worth of food free because I still got my other order. And I checked to see if they were going to charge me because they said they weren't going to because it was canceled. And uh, it doesn't look like they did. It looks like they only charged me for one of the orders. So, hey. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.